in a new film called Captain America, the first Avenger, which is in theatres July the 22nd. Take a look at this. <laughs> Please welcome Hayley Atwell, everybody. Hayley Atwell. Gorgeous. Thank you very much. You caught me in a bit of an awkward moment backstage, didn't you? Yes, I saw you were kind of uh, uh, fooling around with Eddie a well, little bit. Well, yes, a little bit. I met him a couple of years ago at a dinner, and I remember just feeling so jealous because he looked so much better in a skirt than I did. Yeah. So we were just talking dresses I find that then. hard to believe. <laughs> In fact, it's a lie, Haley. He didn't look better. I mean, Eddie's my friend. I love him dearly. Oh, but... so you know what his legs look like, too. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I do a little bit. This film looks amazing. Are you the uh, are you the kind of M character in the film who gives I... him the secret weapons? Yeah, I suppose I am. There's a bit of love interest going in there. Um, there is a, there is a moment actually um, in the film where um, I I cop a feel of his man boob. <laughs> You might want to translate that for the American audience. Oh, yes, the uh, yes. cop a feel of his cop man feel. boob means, uh, I suppose it means you put your hand on his gentleman's upstairs breast. Peck area, yeah. yes. His pectoral muscle. His pectoral muscle, yeah, yes. Yeah. I, I gently stroke who's that. The, who's the gentleman with uh, whose man boob you felt? Uh, Chris Evans, who plays uh, Captain America. I don't, think he, I don't think he has man boobs, though. He's got firm well, chestly they, areas. Well, they were absolutely <laughs> enormous, though. Yeah. I mean, um... <laughs> You know, coming from you, that's a hell of a thing to say. Oh my god, oh my god. I... For a man, uh, yes, yeah, they, yeah, they no, stood no, out. No. Um, but in the take, I hadn't seen him with his clothes off yet. So when the, on action, he then emerged from this pod and having transformed... A pod, you say? A pod, there's a, yes. There's a pod involved. There's a pod? I'll be there. I always <laughs> see him. If a movie's got a pod in it, I'm there. <laughs> Well, he, he came out of his pod right. and um, presented himself to me and... Um, it, wait, wait, wait. He pres... <laughs> he presented himself to you? What do you mean by that? Well, well he'd, he'd gone in 98-pound weakling, very skinny, and right. uh, they'd press start on the on the uh, pod. pod. Yeah. And, uh, and then he came out and he was transformed into this kind of Greek godly figure. Um, Can you get these pods on the internet? <laughs> Get him. I, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll look into that. Yeah, no, not that I, you need that. No, well. I need a pod. Trust me, George, I need, you a, need pod, a pod. Yeah. yeah, just even a partial pod for certain areas. <laughs> Oh, you've got a little TARDIS there, so... Yeah, I have got a little... Are you a fan of the Doctor Who? Um, yeah, in fact, I did a couple of radio shows with them. Um, really? It's, it's so huge in It's Britain. a huge thing in Britain. It's actually getting very big in America now as well. Many of us Americans are enjoying the Who. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I played the President of the Universe once. The President of the Universe? Yeah. Yeah. Ah. And I was also meant to be bald. I mean, this was on radio, so obviously there was no method. Did you shave your head just in case? Just, uh, <laughs> just to get into it. I was, was there a pod in this? It sounds like there might be a pod. I did it all in a pod. You were in a pod? In a studio, I know. How I can't help thinking that you're English. Uh, no, actually, um, well, yes, but my family from Kansas City, Missouri. That makes you American? Uh, half, yes. Half American? <laughs> no. I'm not sure which half. Well, yeah, yeah, you're... Oh, I can guess. The, uh... <laughs> oh, knock it off. Unbelievable. Oh, I Unbelievable. mean, really ridiculous. Aren't they so oh, juvenile? So I cannot vile. believe you're people. <laughs> Good Lord! Is this your first talk show in America? Yes, it is. Oh, well, they're better than this, most of them. Sorry. <laughs> This is, a, this is a good place to start, though. You know, you make, make your mistakes here by agreeing to appear, and then you can get on to the good ones. Right, OK. No, it'll Excellent. be all right. So do you live here, then, or do you live over there? No, I, I, live, I live in London. I just came over here to, uh, to promote the movie. You uh, see. Have you been following this thing in the British Parliament? Uh, y yes, a little bit. It's, it's absolutely shocking. It's terrifying it for the Brits, I think, up. isn't it? It is. It's terrifying for the Brits, but also it's such an abuse of power, and I think the, the, there has been a, a problem with privacy in the press for so long now that I hope there is a kind of a positive knock-on effect that the, the it's very kind of tricky change, though it's very tricky because the, the I mean the British press of uh, the tabloid press have been very vicious for years I think people mm. are used to it if they yeah. start getting like gentle press now they'll be like this is boring what do we do yeah. yes yes of course we need ladies with their tops off and salacious information let's <laughs> so do it all <laughs> Have they ever come after you? Have you ever been hacked? No, no one knows who I am, thankfully. Oh, they will. Oh, no, no, they I don't will. know about that. This Captain America comes out, you come out with your pod in that film, my <laughs> girl. 
You're going to be everywhere. <laughs> well, I, you know, we're done already, actually. It goes very oh God, quickly, I know. I'm, yeah, I, I'm sorry. I'm really sad about that. I was kind of enjoying myself. Well, I can't tell you how many women have said that to me. <laughs> it was over so quickly. Hey, do you have a tattoo there? Yes. I, I have tattoos too. Do you? Is I've, that your only tattoo? Yes, my it's dad's adorable. backstage and he didn't really know until you mentioned it. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. Uh, yes, yes. It's, uh, it's... Oh, that, I see you have one of our fake tattoos we give out. Uh, yeah. to the... like in the goodie bag, thank in you. In the goodie bag, yeah. We, we give out a, 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 cup, a CD and a fake tattoo. Yes. <laughs> what do you get in the... I, they never give me anything. Um, well, I got a bottle of balsamic vinegar. <laughs> Whoa. Um, which is fabulous. I just, I, did, I didn't really know what to do with it. I, I thought, do I take a shot of this before I go on? Is that how you do it? You could give it a try. I think it's probably non-alcoholic balsamic vinegar. Though. Many balsamic vinegars are. Right, okay, yes. Well, that's a shame. So, well, look, anyway, look, uh, you want a mouth organ, awkward pause, or touch my glittery ball? Now, I will warn you. <laughs> touch my glittery ball we haven't really thought through. <laughs> so that's kind of up for grabs, is what I'm saying. I think we just had a mini awkward pause, though, there. So we've kind of almost... No, I wasn't... That. I, no, that, that was you, no, you were doing awkward pause. I, 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 was doing, I was doing creepy pause. <laughs> Which might have been awkward for... Oh, we're, we're doing it. Okay. Right. Here we are. Well, everybody, we were... Uh, Bill Clinton here. People ask me if I'm worried about Monica Lewinsky's upcoming book. No, I'm not. Because I know what really happened. It's all right in here. Uh... Yeah, I, I, I take that back. I'm a little worried.